change rooms enjoying this bounce from the leg spin. Yeah, get out there and do his stuff at 10 overs later in the afternoon. So you see a ball of a similar pace getting some bounce. That won't displease Kumbla at all. Not at all. Uh, considering that he will be also bowling second when the wicket will be uh, helping spinners just a little bit more than it might have now. He certainly will be very happy with that uh, bit of bounce there. And uh, Jadeja trying to do the right thing, but good bowling for him coming and started to squeeze it in down the leg side quite quickly. It's very good thinking. He made sure that uh, Jadeja didn't have uh, room to free his arms, cramped him up. If he had bowled it wide on the off stump, Jadeja could have still have uh, had a big swing. Jadeja moves along to 41. From just 51 balls, 52 balls now. So that's been a good innings with good strike rate. And you can see that Jadeja is not a boundary hitting batsman. This goes to show you if you ask played to have soft hands, place the ball, and you can keep your big hitters going right up with the best of the big hitters. Yeah, this is the worm winding up. The throw from the outfield has been very good by the Zimbabweans in this game. They get to the ball quickly, they release it quickly, but more often than not, it's very, very accurate as well. Yes, they've been uh, terrific to watch uh, both at Amdavad and over here in Vadodra. Chereja coming back a bit quicker after a long gap because of that knee surgery. He was saying that he was feeling the effects of his innings. Wee, well that's one to uh, wake everybody up. Batsman smiles, bowler smiles. I don't think the keeper is doing too much smiling. Well, it's taken off uh, quite alarmingly for Ajay Jadeja, looking to go for the cut. <laughs> Quickly moving out of the way. Couldn't blame the wee give for trying to protect his face. Just a reasonably normal long hop that was going to be cut or pulled initially to the keeper's mind and suddenly it's flying flush at his face. What happens when you stand up to the medium paces? You stop the batsman from leaving the crease, but probably just that brings in an element of danger. Yeah. India will be looking for a few boundaries in the remaining overs to get them to 250 or even more than 250. With the outfield slowing down uh, the boundary hits towards uh, the boundary area, the boundary rope area. Uh, 250 should be a good score to defend. And over the infield, there's a man at long off, and he puts his hand over to goes to six. So a lovely, sweet swing of the bat and connection with the ball over the offside. Well, he's impressed uh, with his timing, uh, Kanitka, in the first match as well at uh, Cochin. And this is, again, a sweetly, sweetly timed. <whistles> and get on past the game, so two good deliveries for India. So the end of Evans' spell, it looked pretty good until the last two deliveries, so his 10 overs cost him 50, 216 for four. Well, that's a sign of the times, isn't it, Harsha? Six overs to go. Just four wickets down, they're going to take a lot of risks. And some big hitting coming up. 
that's for sure. Apart from the man bowling at the moment. Just a single. Vasily Kanitko, who, uh, who's taken the lead. Yes, that's the whole trouble with uh, running late for the uh, players. Yes, they, uh, it eats into their lunch break. Because they've got to start at quarter past, quarter past one. They get off the field, they get off the field, but they get off the field. Just about get through the feeling of the hour. The way they're going at the moment, they might be just about it. The way they're going at the moment, they might be. Well, he advances down the pitch, trying to put this one over the fence. Just spinning away. It's gone a lot wider than he wanted, and the man in the deep, deep mid on didn't have a clue. He thought it was going straighter as well. Uh, just another two to the score. He's on 25, just from 21 deliveries. 